The late Cretaceous period, spanning from approximately 80 to 74 million years ago, was a time of unparalleled diversity and evolution in Earth's oceans. This era, often referred to as the Age of Reptiles, was characterized by the existence of awe-inspiring creatures that roamed the seas, one of the most intriguing being the colossal carnivorous turtle, Archeon Izarcos. This sea leviathan was not just a marvel of the Cretaceous marine ecosystem, but also a testament to the extraordinary adaptability and evolution of life on Earth. Archaeonosarcos, the largest turtle ever discovered, measured an impressive 4.6 meters in length and weighed up to 3 metric tons. This size was comparable to that of a medium-sized elephant, making it a truly colossal creature of its time. Its unique anatomy was a testament to its predatory lifestyle. Unlike modern-day sea turtles, Archaeon had a leathery shell, which allowed for swift and agile movement through the water, enabling it to chase and capture its prey. However, this leathery shell was not as protective as the shells of modern turtles. It was thinner and more flexible, perhaps an adaptation that allowed Archeon to move quickly and efficiently in the water. The shell of Archeon was not its only unique feature. It also had a powerful crushing beak, which enabled it to feed on hard-bodied animals such as crustaceans, mollusks, and even other smaller turtles. This dietary adaptation made Archeon a formidable predator in its time, capable of consuming a wide variety of marine life. Archeon's large size and powerful beak were likely key factors in its ability to dominate its ecosystem and climb the food chain. In the vibrant marine ecosystem of the Western Interior Seaway, Archeon coexisted with a host of other fascinating creatures. Among them were Hesperornis, a flightless seabird, and Mosasaurus, a massive marine reptile. Mosasaurus, measuring a staggering 15 meters long, was an aggressive and ravenous predator that consumed various marine life, including giant turtles like Archeon. The presence of these formidable predators added an additional layer of complexity to the food web, forcing Archeon to develop strategies to avoid becoming a meal. However, Archeon was not entirely defenseless against predation. Its size and protective carapace made it a formidable opponent for most predators. Yet it faced competition for prey and potential threats from smaller predators like Squalicorax, also known as the crow shark. These sharks, with their sharp teeth and agility, were capable of attacking Archeon's softer underbelly or taking advantage of moments of distraction. To counteract these threats, Archeon likely relied on its size, speed, and powerful beak to outmaneuver and overpower its smaller predators. It may have also employed camouflage, hiding among the seagrass and kelp forests, that were common in the western interior seaway. Despite these challenges, Archeon thrived in the western interior seaway. However, its downfall began when the seaway closed, leading to competition for space and potential challenges in adapting to cooling temperatures. As the climate changed and the marine ecosystem shifted, Archeon was unable to adapt quickly enough. This, coupled with the extinction of the dinosaurs around 74 million years ago, led to the extinction of Archeon as well. The extinction of Archeon was not only a loss for the marine ecosystem, but also marked the end of an extraordinary lineage of predatory turtles. Today, the fossilized remains of Archeon serve as a reminder of the incredible creatures that once roamed our planet and the importance of preserving and studying the remnants of these ancient lineages. The study of Archeon offers valuable insights into the past and potential clues about the evolution of modern turtles. For instance, its leathery shell may have evolved as a result of the need for speed and agility in a predatory lifestyle, a trait that was not necessary in modern turtles, with a diet primarily composed of seagrass and algae. Additionally, the extinction of Archeon may have allowed for the evolution of smaller, more agile turtle species that could better adapt to changing environments. In conclusion, the late Cretaceous period was a time of extraordinary evolution and diversity in the Earth's oceans. Among the most fascinating creatures that roamed these waters was the colossal carnivorous turtle, Archeon Isarcos. With its unique leathery shell and powerful crushing beak, Archeon was a formidable predator that coexisted with various predators and competitors. However, its downfall began when the Western Interior Seaway closed, leading to competition for space and potential challenges in adapting to cooling temperatures. Despite its brief existence, Archeon remains the largest turtle our planet has ever known, a testament to the incredible diversity and evolution of life on Earth.
the study of Archeon continues to offer valuable insights into our planet's past and may provide clues about the evolution of modern turtles and the potential adaptations necessary for survival in a changing world. It is worth noting that the late Cretaceous period was not just home to marine creatures. Land masses during this time were teeming with various plant and animal life. For example, the dinosaur fossil record from the late Cretaceous period is incredibly rich, with numerous species of dinosaurs discovered, such as the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, and Ankylosaurus. These dinosaurs inhabited diverse ecosystems, from the arid desert landscapes to lush forested areas, and their remains provide valuable insights into the diet, behavior, and evolution of these extraordinary creatures. The late Cretaceous period was also a time of significant plant evolution. Angiosperms, or flowering plants, first appeared during this time, and their rapid diversification led to the development of a wide variety of plant species. Many of these plants, such as the ancient ancestors of modern conifers and palms, played crucial roles in the ecosystem, providing food, shelter, and oxygen for many creatures. In addition to the dinosaurs and plants, the late Cretaceous period was also home to a variety of other fascinating creatures. For example, the Mosasaur, Mosasaurus hoffmanni, was a massive marine reptile that could reach lengths of up to 18 meters. It was an accomplished swimmer, capable of moving its body like a snake through the water, and it had sharp teeth and powerful jaws that allowed it to consume a wide variety of prey, including fish, squid, and even other marine reptiles. Another interesting creature of the late Cretaceous period was the plesiosaur, Elasmosaurus platyrus. This marine reptile was characterized by its long, slender neck and four flippers. It was a skilled swimmer, capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. Its long neck allowed it to reach down to the ocean floor to capture prey, and its powerful jaw contained sharp teeth that it used to crush its prey. The late Cretaceous period was also home to a variety of fish, including the Titanodon, a large bony fish that could reach lengths of up to 6 meters. It had a long, elongated body and a dorsal fin that ran the length of its back. Its teeth were sharp and pointed, and it was a skilled predator, capable of consuming a variety of prey, including other fish and marine invertebrates. In addition to the marine creatures, the late Cretaceous period was also home to a variety of birds, including the Anantiornithes, a group of birds that were characterized by their long, toothless beaks and feathers covering their bodies. They were smaller than modern birds, with the largest species reaching lengths of up to one meter. They were likely omnivores, consuming a variety of food, including insects, seeds, and small vertebrates. The study of the late Cretaceous period and its creatures continues to provide valuable insights into the evolution of life on Earth. The fossilized remains of these creatures offer clues about their diets, behaviors, and habitats, and they provide a window into a time when the Earth was very different from the planet we know today. The study of these creatures also offers valuable insights into the evolution of modern life, as many of the adaptations that were necessary for survival in the late Cretaceous period are still present in modern organisms. For example, the long, slender neck of the plesiosaur is reminiscent of the necks of modern giraffes, and the sharp teeth of the titanodon are similar to the teeth of modern sharks and other fish. In conclusion, the late Cretaceous period was a time of extraordinary evolution and diversity, with a variety of fascinating creatures that roamed the Earth. The study of these creatures continues to provide valuable insights into the evolution of life on Earth, and offers clues about the adaptations necessary for survival in a changing world. The large, colossal, carnivorous turtle, Archeon Isarchos, was one of the most intriguing creatures of this period, and its story serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. By studying the remnants of these ancient creatures, we can gain a better understanding of the past and the potential future of life on our planet.